Hello and welcome to Food with Life. I am your host, Japati, and we're here at a wonderful conference called Birth of a New Era 2012 and Beyond. And our wonderful guest, best selling author, is Daniel Donald Wolf. Very nice to have you. Thank you. It's lovely to be here with you. How are you? Your book, Conversations with God, is a big title. Conversations is yourself or myself or anyone and God is the universe. So, tell me what you mean by conversations with God. I'm a little bit uncertain. I know a bit about the book, but it's a big, big topic for a very small being. <laughs> me too. <laughs> uh, what I mean by conversations with God is really exactly what the words say. I believe that all of us, first of all, I believe there is a God. So I believe in the entity that some people call God, Brahman, Allah, Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever name Omniscient our, our or culture omni yes, has, anything like wants this. to use to describe the ineffable essence that is the divine. Mm -hmm. So I believe that that essence exists. I believe it's the source of supreme and everlasting intelligence, wisdom, love, clarity, compassion, and all the rest. And so because I believe that exists, I am also clear that all of that it exists not separate from me or anyone else, but as part, as part of all of us. Innate part. Innate part of yes. all of us. Yes. So when I'm talking about having a conversation with God, I'm speaking about exactly that. Having a conversation with the part of myself mm -hmm. and the part of all of us mm -hmm. that I've just described. Mm -hmm. That part of us that has at its disposal all the, that is really all the wisdom, all the clarity, all the love, all the understanding all the insight, all the everything uh, that there is. And the purpose of that conversation for me is to help me stay connected, mm. first of all, to my source, secondly, to my purpose, mm. and thirdly, to my intention. So, <coughs> excuse me. You know, yes. So let me ask, you know, it seems it's an easy concept, idea to understand, but most people, myself, most people I know, we have some fear, we have some inhibition here, we have some uncertainty. I don't know what the fear would be, but... You know, if we're going through life and we run up against a situation, it may be difficult. Oh, oh I mean, you, you mean fear about life, of course. I thought you, I thought you meant fear about having a conversation. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yes. No. I embrace it. Yeah, of course, we all have fears about life. Yes. You know, we, we fear things that occur, or things that might occur, yes. uh, and that's true. But I think that's the best reason I can think of to have a conversation with God, because when I lose my place of awareness, when I experience that fear you're talking about, and like you said, we all do, mm -hmm. that's when I go within and once again have a conversation with God. And I just talk to God like I talk to you, like I talk to, to anybody. I just say, hey, you know, help me out. I need some help here. And something comes back to you. Something, often it's a feeling. A feeling. Often it's not necessarily even words. Yes. Just a feeling of peace, of deep connection, mm -hmm. of okayness. Yes. Uh, and, and that gets me through the fear that I was experiencing. So then you interpret that, that feeling into words. Well, yeah, yeah, well, and sometimes I actually get words mm -hmm. when I'm having a conversation with God that I want to record and yes. I want to keep a tr keep track yes. of. Yes. I will write it down and I will write down what I'm feeling and what I'm wondering about mm -hmm. and what I'd like to know more about mm -hmm. and I will receive what I'm going to call inspiration. Uh -huh. It comes from the same source that, that inspired Mozart to write his music. Mm -hmm. The same source that inspired uh, Michelangelo to, 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 to create his art. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a source in the universe that inspires all of us if we allow it to, mm. if we don't lock it. Have so that's that's the inspiration that, that has allowed me to write 27 books. Yes, we have to be open. Yes, open. we have to be open, we have to be willing to trust, we have to be ready to receive, mm. and then we have to have the courage to share. To share. Because if Michelangelo hadn't shared his paintings, if Mozart hadn't shared his music, yes, yes. if I hadn't shared my 27 books, yes. we wouldn't be having this conversation. Right. 
So, is there a, a way that you do this, uh, the, a, a practice that makes that, that you? Well, you know, there open? isn't. I, 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 the, the correct answer is yes. I meditate every day or whatever. Right. Uh, but in fact, I don't do any of those things. I'm just a regular person. Meditation has never really worked for me the way I would like to. But although meditation takes many forms, and my particular meditation is, in fact, to be quiet with myself and to write. Right. So that's my form of meditation. Okay. So if I did have a practice or a way, what it would be is that uh, at uh, between four and five in the morning, I rise and I start to write. Mm -hmm. And they're turning the lights out on us. Mm -hmm. So that's my practice, is to get up every day around 4.30. So that's a good time. It's when nature arises. Yes. You know, that's yes. called an uh, Eastern Navaswan. Yes. You know, when the work wakes up, the animals, all this come alive. That's my writing time. Very nice. So I ask you, because the mind and the body are so intimately connected here. And what experiences your allows you to experience the divine may or may not have something to do with the clarity of your mind or the awakeness you may have. I don't know. But we have a, a, a food with life is a show about diet and health and how that influences our well-being. So can you say from your side, does food or diet have some impact on your experience or on your sharing and most importantly on your heart? Well, of course, the obvious answer is yes. It's a proven fact. It's a scientific medical fact. And it's a metaphysical fact as well. We understand all of life, actually. Mm -hmm. Not just food, but my clothing and right. music that in the room and you know, everything, everything is around. vibration right. and energy vibrating. And that's true, especially of food. Uh, so, um, yes, I, I, I try to be careful and pay attention to the kind of energy that I am intaking mm -hmm. because I understand that it will mix with the energy that I am. Yes. Uh, and, you know, life affects life through the process of life. Yes. So energy is an interesting um, component of life because energy affects energy. That is, they intermix and the outcome is something quite different from the two separately. Mm -hmm. So that when I eat things, I understand that the energy I'm taking in is going to impact and alter right. the energy that I am. Yes. And so I try to be uh, very careful about what I intake, although I'm not as careful as I should be and I don't pay as much attention to my diet as I might, so I'm going to have to watch your program. So you have to watch your program, watch your meditation, and watch what you take in. Yes. Well, I very much thank you very much. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you. And we'd like to share more with you about our show, Food with Life. Good. And perhaps sometime we'll see you again. Okay. Thank my you, honor my to be here. Chapati, my welcome. Thank you, my friend. I am your host, Chapati. This is Food with Life with our wonderful guest, Neil Donald Walsh. Stay with us. We'll see you in just a minute. Bye-bye.